All right. You gentlemen will be accorded all the help we can give. But during your stay, you will obey protocol. Is that understood? Absolutely. The red brick building on your right is Ward A, the male ward. Ward B, the female ward, is the one on your left. Ward C is that building on the bluffs, an old Civil War fort. The most dangerous patients are housed there. Admittance to Ward C is forbidden without the written consent and physical presence of both myself and Dr. Cawley. Is that understood? You act like insanity is catching. You are hereby required to surrender your firearms. Mr. McPherson, we, we are duly appointed federal marshals. We are required to carry our firearms with us at all times. Executive Order 319 of the Federal Code of Penitentiary states that when inside a penitentiary, the officers of that institution have final authority. Gentlemen, you will not get through this gate with your firearms. Okay. Now that the official stuff's done, come on, boys. What do you say we go find Dr. Cawley? When did she escape, this prisoner? I'm afraid Dr. Cawley will have to fill you in on the situation. Protocol. Correctional officers at a mental institution. That's a weird sight, if you don't mind me saying. It's the only facility of its kind in the U.S., even the world. We take only the most dangerous damaged patients, ones no other hospital can manage. And it's all due to Dr. Cawley. He's created something really unique here. It's a hospital for people our society knowledge. 